Hello, garden enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Our green thumb journey today takes us around the globe, exploring the epitome of horticultural grandeur. Today we're taking you on a journey through the world's most extravagant and breathtaking gardens. Our first stop is the Gardens of Versailles in France. This garden is more than just a collection of flowers and trees. It's a grand testament to the opulence of the French monarchy and the genius of the royal gardener, André Le Nôtre. Commissioned by Louis XIV in the 17th century, the Gardens of Versailles are a living piece of French history. Imagine yourself strolling through the expansive green lawns, intricately trimmed hedges, and geometric flower beds. The gardens are a perfect example of the French formal garden style, a design that seeks to impose order on nature and create a sense of symmetry and balance. The grandeur is not just limited to the plants, as the garden is adorned with over 200 statues, each one a masterpiece of the period's art. The gardens are a maze of wonder, featuring several groves, each with its own unique theme. The most notable among these is the Orangerie, a sunken garden filled with hundreds of orange, lemon, and pomegranate trees. In the heart of the gardens, the Grand Canal stretches out over a mile long, a testament to the grand scale of this royal project. But the gardens of Versailles are not just about grandeur. They are also a place of tranquility. The beautiful fountains scattered throughout the gardens, each with its own intricate design, create a serene atmosphere. Their gentle murmur accompanies you as you wander the paths, taking in the beauty of the surroundings. The gardens also play host to the Royal Walk, a series of six terraces leading to the Neptune Fountain. It is here amidst the cascading water and the grand statues that the full scale of the Gardens of Versailles can truly be appreciated. Every corner of the Gardens of Versailles is a testament to the vision of its creators. It is a place where nature and artifice come together in perfect harmony, resulting in a landscape that is both awe-inspiring and tranquil. A true testament to human creativity and nature's beauty, the Gardens of Versailles are an opulent spectacle to behold. Next, we'll jet off to Canada to explore the Butchert Gardens. Imagine stepping into a world where nature's palette knows no bounds, where flowers burst forth in a symphony of colors, and where the air is fragranced with the sweet scent of blooms. This, my friends, is the Butchert Gardens in all its glory. Nestled near Victoria on Vancouver Island, the Butchert Gardens are a horticultural spectacle that's been mesmerizing visitors for over a hundred years. Yes, you heard it right, a hundred years. This family-owned oasis was born out of a limestone quarry, transformed by the vision and dedication of Jenny Butchert, a woman ahead of her time. Today, the Butchert Gardens stretch over 55 acres, flourishing with a rainbow of flowering plants, shrubs, and trees. Each section of the garden is a unique chapter in a botanical storybook. The sunken garden, for instance, is a tapestry of vibrant beds and elegant water features, a testament to the transformational power of horticulture. The Rose Garden, on the other hand, is a fragrant haven boasting over 2,500 roses. As you stroll through this garden, you'll be enveloped by a myriad of hues and scents, a sensory delight that leaves a lasting impression. And let's not forget the Japanese garden, a serene space that reflects the elegance and tranquility of traditional Japanese landscaping. With its meticulously manicured trees and peaceful streams, it's a perfect spot for contemplation and relaxation. In every season, the Butchart Gardens are a spectacle to behold. From the burst of tulips in spring, to the fiery foliage in autumn, and even the magical Christmas lights in winter, it's a garden that never ceases to inspire and amaze. So whether you're a seasoned horticulturist or a nature lover seeking tranquility, the Butchert Gardens promise an unforgettable journey through nature's artistry. A horticultural wonderland, the Butchert Gardens are a vibrant testament to nature's grandeur. From Canada, we head to Dubai, where the Miracle Garden awaits. Nestled in the heart of the city, this garden is a riot of color, an explosion of life, and a testament to the boundless limits of human creativity. Imagine walking through archways of cascading blooms, strolling along paths lined with vibrant floral displays and marveling at the sheer number of blossoms that surround you. 
The Miracle Garden is home to more than 50 million flowers, each one contributing to the breathtaking tableau that greets visitors from around the globe. Every corner of the garden is a feast for the senses. The air is heavy with the intoxicating scent of blossoms, and the gentle hum of bees fills the air. As you wander through the garden, you can't help but feel awestruck by the vibrant tapestry of colors that stretch as far as the eye can see. There are no half measures here. Everything is larger than life, from the towering flower displays to the expansive landscapes that seem to sprawl endlessly. But the Miracle Garden is not just a display of nature's beauty, it's also a celebration of human ingenuity. This garden is, after all, an oasis in the middle of the desert, a testament to the power of human innovation and determination. Visiting the Miracle Garden is like stepping into a fairy tale. It's a place where the ordinary becomes extraordinary, where the mundane becomes magical. Here, flowers are not just flowers. They are canvases for the garden's artists, who transform them into intricate designs and breathtaking displays. And as the sun sets, the garden takes on a new persona. The flowers, bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun, seem to come alive, their colors more vibrant, their beauty more striking. It's a sight that stays with you, a memory to cherish long after you've left the confines of the garden. A spectacle of color and design, Dubai's Miracle Garden is truly a sight to behold. In the Netherlands, we have the Kuchenhof Gardens, a garden that's nothing short of a horticultural fantasy. Kuchenhof is a place where millions of tulips bloom in a riot of colors every spring. It's a sight to behold, with tulips of every imaginable hue stretching as far as the eye can see. But Kuchenhof is not just about tulips. This garden, known as the Garden of Europe, is home to a diverse range of flowers and plants. From daffodils and orchids to roses and lilies, Kuchenhof is a living, breathing encyclopedia of the botanical world. As we wander through the winding paths of Kuchenhof, we are greeted by a vibrant springtime atmosphere. The air is filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers and the gentle hum of bees and birds is a constant backdrop. It's like stepping into a painting where every element is meticulously crafted to create a harmonious composition. Throughout the garden there are various pavilions, each dedicated to a specific type of flower. One moment, you're in the Orange Nassau Pavilion marveling at the exotic orchids. The next, you find yourself in the Willem Alexander Pavilion, surrounded by lilies in full bloom. There's also the historic windmill, a symbol of Dutch heritage, offering panoramic views of the surrounding flower fields. As you climb up the stairs of the windmill, you can't help but be captivated by the sight of vibrant tulip fields under the clear blue sky. Kuchenhof is not just a garden, it's an event a celebration of nature's beauty. It's a place where garden enthusiasts, photographers, and nature lovers from around the globe gather to witness the spectacle of spring in full bloom. Boasting an impressive collection of tulips, the Kuchenhof Gardens are a vibrant celebration of springtime. They remind us of the simple joy that comes from being in nature and the sheer beauty that lies in a single flower. For anyone who appreciates the artistry of nature and the joy of gardening, Kuchenhof is a must-visit destination. Across the Pacific, we find the Portland Japanese Garden in the USA. Nestled within the heart of Oregon, this enchanting space is a delightful homage to the traditional Japanese aesthetics, offering a tranquil sanctuary away from the hustle and bustle of modern life. The garden is a harmonious blend of the elements of nature, meticulously designed to inspire peace and contemplation. It's a place where every rock, water feature, and carefully pruned tree tells a story, inviting visitors to pause and immerse themselves in the serene beauty. It encompasses five distinct garden styles, each one a testament to the timeless art of Japanese landscaping. The strolling pond garden with its meandering streams and stunning bonsai collection is a delightful treat for the senses. The natural garden replete with verdant mosses and ferns offers a refreshing glimpse of nature's untamed beauty. The flat garden, with its meticulously raked sand and pruned pines, is a study in contrasts, symbolizing the changing seasons. The tea garden, with its rustic tea house and stone lanterns, invites visitors to partake in the timeless tradition of Japanese tea ceremonies. 
But the real showstopper here is the sand and stone garden. With its carefully raked patterns in the sand symbolizing the ripples of water and the arrangement of stones representing islands, it's a mesmerizing representation of the Zen philosophy. Yet the Portland Japanese garden is not just about the visual feast it offers, it's about experiencing tranquility, about finding a moment of peace amid the rustle of bamboo leaves and the gentle trickle of water. It's about understanding the Japanese concept of Ma, the profound beauty of space, silence, and simplicity. An oasis of tranquility, the Portland Japanese Garden offers a peaceful retreat from the bustling world outside. A visit here is not merely about admiring a beautiful landscape, it's about embarking on a journey of self-discovery and contemplation and reconnecting with nature in its purest form. Now let's wander through the ethereal super tree grove at Singapore's gardens by the bay. This futuristic nature park spans over a hundred hectares and is nestled right in the heart of the city. The gardens by the bay is not just a garden, it's a statement of art and environmental sustainability, a testament to the vision of a city in a garden. This garden city is a vibrant tapestry of exotic plants, stunning floral displays and remarkable super trees. Imagine, if you will, towering tree-like structures, standing tall at up to 16 stories high. These are the super trees, the iconic symbols of the gardens. They're not your typical trees, though. These vertical gardens are embedded with environmentally sustainable functions, like photovoltaic cells to harvest solar energy. As we stroll through the super tree grove, we're embraced by a high-tech canopy that provides shade in the day and comes alive with an exhilarating display of light and sound at night. It's a truly mesmerizing sight that blends the beauty of nature with the thrill of technology. But the magic doesn't stop at the super trees. The gardens are also home to the world's largest glass greenhouse, the Flower Dome, and the awe-inspiring Cloud Forest. These cooled conservatories replicate the climates of various parts of the world, allowing a diverse range of plants to flourish. The Flower Dome houses plants from the Mediterranean and semi-arid regions, while the Cloud Forest replicates the cool moist conditions found in tropical mountain regions. It's a journey from the coastal regions of South Africa to the highlands of Costa Rica, all within a single garden. A magical landscape, the gardens by the bay offer a unique blend of nature and technology. Step into this garden of wonders and you're stepping into the future. A testament to the power of green design and sustainable practices, it's a place where nature's beauty is amplified through the lens of technology, creating an experience that's nothing short of extraordinary. Back in Europe, we find the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew in London. A treasured jewel in the crown of British gardening, the Kew Gardens are far more than just a collection of plants. They are a living testament to the rich tapestry of horticulture that threads through the heart of the United Kingdom. This stunning retreat, nestled in the heart of one of the world's busiest cities, spans over 300 acres and is home to more than 30,000 types of plants. From the smallest alpine flora to the towering majesty of the redwoods in the Arboretum, Kew Gardens is a vibrant celebration of the diversity and beauty of the natural world. But these gardens aren't just about the plants, they're also about the people who have nurtured them over the centuries. The dedicated gardeners, botanists and scientists who have curated this magnificent collection have helped Kew Gardens to become a vital research and conservation institution. As we stroll through the meticulously maintained Victorian glasshouses, we're not just stepping into a lush, tropical world of exotic plants. We're stepping into history. These structures with their ornate ironwork and vast panes of glass are a nod to the grandeur of the Victorian era, a time when botany was in its golden age and the study of plants was considered a noble pursuit. The Kew Gardens are also a testament to the changing seasons. Whether it's the vibrant hues of the rhododendron dell in spring or the fiery colors of the Japanese garden in autumn, Kew Gardens is a year-round spectacle of color and life. So whether you're a seasoned gardener, a budding botanist, or just someone who appreciates the simple pleasures of a walk in the park, Kew Gardens has something to offer. Showcasing the elegance of British horticulture, 
The Kew Gardens are a testament to the beauty of nature. For something truly unique, we explore the whimsical garden of cosmic speculation in Scotland. Nestled within the gentle rolling hills of Dumfries, this garden is a delightful detour from the conventional. It's not just a garden, it's an exploration of the mysteries of the universe, an open invitation to ponder the very nature of reality. The brainchild of architect Charles Jenks, the Garden of Cosmic Speculation is a fascinating combination of science, art, and nature. It's a place where the boundaries blur, where the line between the natural world and the cosmic universe is delightfully smudged. This garden is not just about flowers and trees, it's about ideas, about the big questions of existence about the cosmos itself. Rather than a traditional floral showcase, this garden is a landscape of waves, spirals, and curves, inspired by scientific and mathematical concepts. It's a place where the laws of nature are given a physical form, where black holes, fractals, and DNA strands are transformed into a living, breathing landscape. The garden's layout is designed to provoke thought and invite speculation. With its swirling landforms and intricate designs, it encourages visitors to ponder the mysteries of the universe. From the snail mound to the universe cascade, Every feature in this garden is a nod to the cosmos and the laws that govern it. Yet, despite its cosmic theme, the Garden of Cosmic Speculation is deeply rooted in the natural world. It's a place where the wonder of nature and the intrigue of the cosmos intertwine, creating a landscape that's as thought-provoking as it is beautiful. It is a garden that stimulates the mind as much as it soothes the soul. In the end, the Garden of Cosmic Speculation is a testament to the power of imagination. It's a reminder that gardens can be more than just a collection of plants. They can be places of wonder, of discovery, of speculation. They can be a bridge between the world we know and the cosmos we're still trying to understand. Truly unique, the Garden of Cosmic Speculation offers a whimsical exploration of nature and the cosmos. Our journey continues to Spain where we find the gardens of Alhambra. Nestled in the heart of Granada, these gardens are a living testament to Spain's rich Moorish history. The Alhambra, a palatial fortress, is surrounded by meticulously manicured gardens that serve as a verdant frame to the architectural marvel. The gardens of Alhambra are not just a feast for the eyes, but also a journey through time. With every step you take, you traverse centuries of history, experiencing the grandeur of a bygone era. Each corner of the garden is a careful blend of natural beauty and human ingenuity, reflecting the harmonious coexistence of art and nature. As you meander through the lush greenery, the scent of blooming flowers fills the air, creating an atmosphere of tranquility and peace. The symphony of trickling water from the numerous fountains and watercourses adds a soothing rhythm to your exploration. These water features, a significant element in Islamic gardening, symbolize life and purity, and their gentle murmur is a constant reminder of the garden's profound spiritual significance. The gardens are divided into several sections, each with its unique charm. The Court of the Myrtles, with its long reflective pool, is a picture of serenity. The Court of the Lions, named after its famous fountain adorned with stone lions, is an epitome of elegance and sophistication. The General Life Gardens, once the Sultan's Summer Palace, is a paradise of lush vegetation and stunning water features. The Gardens of Alhambra are not just a collection of plants and fountains, but a living, breathing work of art. They are a testament to the vision of the garden's creators and their love for beauty, symmetry, and harmony. The gardens stand as a symbol of Spain's multicultural history, a place where East meets West and where the past meets the present. Reflecting the rich history and culture of Spain, the gardens of Alhambra are a mesmerizing sight. They evoke a sense of awe and wonder, leaving an indelible impression on all who are fortunate enough to visit them. And finally, our last stop is at the Chateau de Villandry's Gardens in France. Welcome to the Renaissance masterpiece that is the gardens of Chateau de Villandry. Nestled in the heart of the Loire Valley, these gardens are a symphony of symmetry and order, a true testament to meticulous planning and artistry. 
From the moment you step foot in this garden, you're transported back to a time of courtly love and chivalry, the Renaissance era. The gardens of Chateau de Villandry are a marvel of landscaping architecture, divided into four distinct sections, each with its own personality and charm. The ornamental garden, also known as the Love Garden, is a romantic tableau of intricate boxwood designs, interspersed with vibrant blooms that express the varying emotions of love, tender, passionate, fickle, and tragic. Then we have the Water Garden, a serene oasis that exudes a sense of tranquility with its central pool and symmetrical lime tree groves. This garden is a perfect spot to relax and take in the beauty of the chateau's facade reflected in the mirror-like water surface. Next, the kitchen garden, or potager, is a feast for the senses. This is where charm meets practicality. The geometric patterns of vegetables and herbs organized by color and season create a kaleidoscope of hues that is as visually appealing as it is appetizing. Lastly, we find the sun garden, a recent addition yet it feels like it has been a part of the landscape for centuries. Its Mediterranean vegetation, punctuated by vibrant sunflowers and lavender, basks in the French sun, adding a splash of warmth to the overall design. The gardens of Chateau de Villandry is not just a garden, it's a living, breathing work of art. The harmonious blend of nature and architecture, the attention to detail, the symphony of colors and the seamless integration with the chateau itself make this garden a stunning spectacle, a joy to explore and experience. Known for its exquisite Renaissance design, the gardens of Chateau de Villandry are a grand finale to our journey. These gardens are not only a feast for the eyes, but also a testament to the harmonious relationship between humans and nature. We've journeyed through opulent palaces, serene landscapes, and horticultural wonders, each garden offering a unique blend of creativity and natural beauty. Engage with us. Share your thoughts or experiences related to these splendid gardens. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys through the world's luxurious gardens. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the world's most luxurious gardens. Until next time.